The other day I got an email asking about, well asking a few questions actually, um, and one of them was about how to do search engines in Bootstrap Studio. Um, search engines are the same in Bootstrap Studio or without Bootstrap Studio. Um, I'm actually using, uh, I've got two laptops and this one here I use very very little. And as you can see, this is an old version of Bootstrap Studio, and it's even on the right hand side here, got an update is available. Anyway, I'll just forget that for a minute. But first off, um, we just put a nav bar in. This is just an example, okay? All right, we just put it there. All right. And I would suggest this particular search engine, and this is the one I use. It's called Findbury, okay? Um, there's price plans and all the rest of it. I'll put the links in the description. Um, where it's just findbury.com. And it just says add search to your website. Fast, easier and even free. And it is. It's it's what it says. It's, it's easy to use and it's free and, and it works. Um, I've used it for well, many years I think. Um, anyway, what I would suggest as well is you have a website that's actually online um, with a f quite a lot of videos you really need to be online doing this and like I said in a previous video um, that there's no real excuse now because but uh, Bootstrap Studio have um, you can put your website up there okay so anyway whatever your website is um, you know just put that in and the next is free and your username, password, and email, um, and that's all you do. So you put whatever your username or password and email, and what you do then is you create your search engine. Well, I've actually done it. It's very, very easy to do. You cannot really go wrong. Um, and then what you have, then you get like sort of, uh, I'll show you what happens with when you when it's set up okay i mean i did this just as a demonstration okay um and i did this at the bottom of the website because i don't i, I don't want it at the top i just did this because of this video all right so this here is a site search by findberry and this is all about javascript dhtml and all that all uh, technology um, personally I think it, the uh, HTML5 should be called DHTML5 uh, it's the same principles but anyway here we are anyway what say for example you just say in JavaScript and then you search for that and that comes up DHTML DHTML rocks and on this uh, website okay you can have your page in a new page or you can have it actually on the same page that's entirely up to you but what happens here i don't want to go through the whole process because i've already done it um is when you create your search engine you get a thing where you just copy and paste okay so for example on here in bootstrap studio it's just go to convert to html okay like i've done a billion times on here edit code and it's basically where you want to edit that code. Um, you know, I mean, like if you want to edit on the right hand side, you can do that, or you can, you know, you, you just have to manipulate this. For example, if you want to, you know, uh, where brand was, you put find very, okay, and just apply that. And this is where your search engine would go. This is when you get your copy and paste from the website what you you do in many things when you know you see these webmaster tools all it is is when you create the engine honestly it is a piece of cake to do when you like that the problem going to lie with bootstrap studio and, and anything actually is how it's going to work in the fact of like sort of is it going to be exactly where you want it to be and have you got the css for that um if anybody's interested in this and going to do do what I'm telling them here, just get back to us. I'll put my email as well in the description because I know, I mean, I'm there, you know, like sort of, it's on YouTube channel, but I'll put my email in this video um, for anybody that's wanting some sort of search engine and 
the um, the having trouble of like sort of you know manipulating where they want in the page and things like that but you do need to be online with this um, okay so yeah so um, as always um, you get stuck you know I'm always there okay again thanks for watching and thanks for listening